What's going on guys, it's Tony Sauce here and we got Cover Athlete Week 2 cards that just released today. Now if you pre-ordered the Deluxe Edition, you may recognize these cards, but if you didn't, if you bought the regular game on October 4th, this is your chance to make either Stamkos, Tarasenko, Ovechkin, and Forsberg. Now these cards are very cool, I think Stamkos is nasty, actually a great center card. We also got some new Game Breaker cards here man, 85 JT Miller, 85 Shea Weber, 84 Noah Dobson, 84 Jordan Kyrou. Very cool cards here, man. 82 Matthew Boldy, 82 Debrinket. We got some more wild cards here. 85 Bouchard, 84 Forsberg, 83 Brock Besser, 82 Bennett. We also got some milestone cards here for inaugural goals. Dylan Gunther, 85 overall. Very cool card. I would say W content today, boys. Let's take a look at all the cards. All right, so the cover athlete cards. First, we have Philip Forsberg. Actually, a really good card here. Six foot one, 205 pounds, left handed. 87 speed, 86 excel. Pretty solid speed and excel with gold unstoppable force is going to be absolutely cracked. This ability might be one of the best in the game. Trust me. I have it on Lindros, and Lindros is a tank. Cannot bump him off the puck. 88 deking is very good. Uh, 85 passing is a bit rough. 83 body checking is good. 84 faceoffs with two way forward synergy. That's 85. Pretty mid shot, but like great card here. Next, we have Alex Ovechkin. Now, this card's pretty cool, but it's not the best. Six foot three, 238 pounds. Very good shot. 90 wrist shot accuracy, 91 wrist shot power. Gold 1T on Ovechkin is going to be really fun to use, but he does have bad speed and excel. 84 speed, 83 excel. However, he has 89 balance. So his balance plus his size and his weight is going to make this card a tank. It's going to make him hard to bump off the puck. It's going to make up for that slow speed in Excel, but at the same time, he's very slow. So, you know, the balance is good, but he's still very slow. 82 Deakings, putrid. 86 body checking is really good. This card's going to be like that power forward sniper, but I personally would take Matthews over this card. Like, I think Matthews is a much better sniper with power forward hybrid traits, but it's still a really cool card. Great X Factor. Awesome card. Next, we have Stamkos. Now, I think this card's actually great. Very good center card here. 85 faceoffs, 82 stick checkings rough, 87 speed, 86 excel. Playmaking forward gives him 90 agility, 89 wrist shot accuracy and power. Uh, Goldborn leader, you know, a lot of people like this ability. I'm not really a fan of it. it it's much better in hut champs, but like we, have, we don't have champs yet. 89 deking is great. 91 offensive awareness is great. 90 passing is great. This is just a great card overall. He's a great playmaker. He's a great center, a great sniper, just an absolute tank of a card. Awesome card art. What a great Stamkos card. And finally, what I think is the worst of the week two cover athletes, we have Vladimir Tarasenko. Sniper forward synergy gives his wrist shot accuracy an 88, wrist shot power an 89, 86 speed, 85 excel, so not the fastest. Uh, he has 87 balance, so not bad. 88 agility, gold snipe, a very cool ability, but I, I don't know how good it is this year. I don't think it's that good. 86 stick checking, 82 body checking, just kind of mid stats across the board, except for his shot, which isn't even pushing the 90s. Like It's a good shot, but it's not pushing the 90s. I think there are much better options. I like Ovechkin's card more than this because he has a better shot, a better X factor, and better balance and better size. Like this card's a little bit faster than Ovechkin, but Ovechkin has that size that makes up for that low speed. He'll be able to work that puck around the zone. You won't be able to bump him off the puck as easily as Tarasenko. So I do think this is the worst in the bunch. I personally would go Stamkos, Tarasenko, Ovechkin, and then uh, I mean, Stamkos, Forsberg, Ovechkin, Tarasenko. Real quick, I want to take a look at this Dylan Gunther card. Now, he has gold, 1T, 6'2", pretty good size. Sniper forward synergy gives his shot 90s across the board, 88 speed, 87 excel, 88 agility. Now, it's not the best card. It's a good 85. It's a great card. It's a great 85, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Like there's much better options at 85 overall, like discounted MSPs, McDavid. Like I just feel like this card is going to be very expensive. If you're a Dylan Gunther fan, get this card. It's, it's probably a must get if you're a Utah hockey fan or a Dylan Gunther card, especially after that first game that he had. And then I think he actually had the OT winner in uh, Utah's second game. So very cool card here, but it's not like anything spectacular. 
now to build one of these MSPs. It's going to be the same as last week, boys. All right, 682 overall cover athletes, boys. You trade in 682 overall cover athletes. Now to get the 82 overall cover athletes, you have to do this set right here, this first one. You trade in 679s, okay, for 182 cover athletes. So you have to do this set six times. That's going to be a total of 3679 pluses. However, you can get a few free 82 overall cover athletes. You'll be able to get one cover athlete from the cover athlete week two objectives. So this first one, it's BND, so you can't use it for the set. Very annoying. You just have to use it for objectives. So once you do all of these objectives, at the very top, you'll get a random 82 overall cover athlete player. So there's one. And then if you come over to the single player tab, come over to the hut moments, there's new cover athlete moments, boys. You come over here, there's gonna be uh, one 82 cover athlete and then one more cover athlete here. So you'll get three 82 cover athletes making the MSP set half off, which is great. Now, I don't know if it's worth building one for half off, like even half off. I don't know if it's worth building it just because that card's going to be untradeable. So you're going to be stuck with that card for a long time unless you decide to trade it in for a set. And I just think it's better to buy cards on the auction house like McDavid. Like you, know, you can get McDavid for, for a pretty solid price compared to like half off on one of these MSPs just because 79s are going for so much right now. But at the same time, you know, half off an MSP is great if you're going to build one. If you haven't done Austin Matthews yet, I really recommend doing Austin Matthews because he's probably going to get a team of the year card. It's not a lock, okay? It's not a lock, but he did have the most goals last season. So if he does well up until the end of the year, we could see an Austin Matthews team of the year. And if you have his 85 MSP, you'll be able to trade it in to get his team of the year discounted. So keep that in mind. If you're going to build one and you haven't done like Kale McCarr or Matthews, I do think one of those is, is probably the go-to pick. Other than that, we have some new wild card rewards. Something very cool is we get four Game Breaker collectibles from Wild Card. So this means you'll be able to do that Game Breaker set one more time because they gave us an extra two in objectives. So you bang out Wild Card, you'll be able to do another one of those Game Breaker sets. Very cool. And then at the end, we get an X Factor Choice Pack. That's always a W. If you're free to play like me, we're approaching getting one of those Captain cards. I probably have like six X Factors out of eight at this point. So we're getting close. Other than that, I think that's about it for the content on Friday. If you guys liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch if you want to see me go live. Join the Discord. We talk hut all day. It's mad fun. It's Tony Sauce, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.